I Am Solutions presents the greatest stories never told. This series of videos highlights the little known achievements of HBCU alumni. Featuring Jesse Russell, whose innovations led to the digital cell phone. And Dr. David Wilson's journey from the cotton fields of Alabama, the HBCU. It changed the world. Few of us can imagine life without our cell phone. But all of this would not have happened without the remarkable advances in wireless technology made by pioneers such as Jesse Russell, an internationally known inventor who graduated from Tennessee State. The beauty of, of historical black colleges for me, just talking to me personally at a personal level, is that what they did for me, they gave me the nurturing and the freedom to challenge. I ended up at Bell Laboratories and uh, in 1980, uh, I was selected as one of the most outstanding engineers in America under the age of 32. Coming from a very poor environment, single family, 10 brothers and sisters, at least uh, nine brothers and sisters. And I never will forget the first day I was on the job, I called the meeting of all the managers and so but they were all white. I was the only black guy, right? And I was saying, well, What's the problem? You know, they said, the problem is that we could only make money when people are in the cars and the phone rings and they answer it. If they don't answer it, goes, it's that most of the time people are not in the cars, right? And so what I said was, well, uh, that seems like an easy problem to solve, right? Why don't we just take the phone out of the car and just put it on the people? What they didn't know, I was probably one of the leading authorities in signal, digital signal processing. Uh, because that's how I'd gotten the award before, but they didn't know that, right? So what I said was, oh, I, oh, that's a simple problem to solve. What we'll do is that we'll completely digitize the speech, we'll substantially reduce the amount of bandwidth required on a per user basis, and I described to them how you could do that, by what modulation schemes you would use and so forth. And then I said, if you do the math on that, and I can show you how we do that, that you could get four times the number of people in the same amount of spectrum. And it took us from like 1984 to 88, and we built the first digital cellular system any place in the world. We uh, sharecropped uh, as I was growing up. Uh, and, uh, you know, sharecropping was this sort of tradition in the South where uh, basically slaves were on plantations and they were working sun up to sundown and then at the end of slavery uh, what, what basically happened there is that many of the blacks were still trapped in those circumstances and so uh, one day uh, after um, I guess we had grown tired of you know picking cotton and uh, hoeing the fields so to speak we sat down and uh, we had a conversation with my father and basically said to him you know uh, this is not uh, the life that we want to live, and it's certainly not the life that I want to live. And so I said to him, you know, uh, I think I want to go to college. And so he kind of looked at me and he said, uh, college? And he said, boy, you know, boy, you know, uh, college is for white folks. I graduated from high school uh, and I applied to, uh, uh, to uh, Tuskegee University. Uh, he said, boy, I'm really, really proud of you. He said, you know, you're about to do something in this family that nobody has ever, ever done. And he said, uh, you're about to go to college. I have been saving for this time when I could actually help you to get to college. And actually, by this time, I looked in his face and there were tears rolling down his chin. Pulled out of his pocket something that he called a piece of money. And he put it in my hand. And he put his hand over mine with tears rolling down his chin, he said, use it well, son, use it well. And I opened my hand, and there in my hand was a crisp $5 bill. That was what, uh, what my, my parents gave me for college. I guess uh, my being president here at Morgan, I owe a lot to that foundation that was established in McKinley. 